Hi everyone, I am Arun Julkar. In application of integration, today we will talk about how to find cost and revenue function when marginal cost and marginal revenue given to us. To find cost function from given marginal cost function. Cost function is noted by C and the marginal cost function noted by MC. We will get cost function by integrating marginal cost. So C equals to integration of marginal cost respect to x plus k. Always remember that at x equal to 0 when we are not producing anything, cost always be equals to fixed cost. Example 1. If the marginal cost of a product is mc equals to 5 minus 2x plus x square, find the total cost function where fixed cost is 1000 rupees. We know that cost equals to integration of marginal cost respect to x plus k. Replace marginal cost by 5 minus 2x plus x square. After integration, we will get c equals to 5x minus x square plus x cube by 3 plus k. At x equal to 0, cost equals to fixed cost, which is equal to 1000. So 1000 equals to k. Put the value of k in first and c equals to 5x minus x square plus x cube by 3 plus 1000, which is the required total cost function. Next example. If the marginal cost of a product is half of the average cost, show that fixed cost is zero. It is given that marginal cost equals to half of average cost. Marginal cost is derivative cost respect to x and the average cost is c divided by x. Separate the variable. So dc upon c equals to half of dx upon x. Integration both side. So integration of dc by c equals to half integration of dx upon x. Log mod c equals to half log mod x plus log k. Log m to the power n is n log m. So 1 by 2 log x is log root x plus log k. Log m plus log n is log m into n. So it is log k into root x. So c equals to k root x. At x equals 0, cost is 0. So fixed cost is 0. Next example. The marginal cost of a product is given by mc equals to x divided by the root of x square plus 900. Find the average cost function if fixed cost is rupees 5000. C equals to integration of marginal cost respect to x plus k. Replace marginal cost by x upon the root of x square plus 900 and now divided by 2 and multiplied by 2. So now we have function 2x multiplied by x square plus 900 raised to power minus 1 by 2. We know that whenever we have function to power n with derivative, the answer is function to the power n plus 1 upon n plus 1. And after solving, we will get cos equals to in the root of x square plus 900 plus k. At x equal to 0, cos is 5000. So 5000 equals to in the root of 900 plus k. And after solving, we will get k equals to 4970. Put k in first. So cos is in the root of x square plus 900 plus 4970 and average cos is cos divided by x so the root of x square plus 900 whole divided by x plus 4970 divided by x it is the required average cos function in this question we use here integration method where function to the power n and derivative is there so we will use the formula function to the power n plus 1 upon n plus 1 here n is minus 1 by 2 so we use formula function to the power minus 1 by 2 plus 1 which is 1 by 2 upon 1 by 2. To find the revenue function from a given marginal revenue, we integrate marginal revenue respect to x. The revenue noted by r and the marginal revenue noted by mr. So 
Kepler equals to integration of m r respect to x plus k. And always remember that at x equal to 0, the revenue equal to 0. Example, if the marginal revenue of a product is m r equals to 8 minus 2x, find the demand function. Revenue equals to integration of marginal revenue respect to x plus k, replace marginal revenue by 8 minus 2x and after solving get 8x minus x square plus k. At x equal to 0, revenue equal to 0. So 0 equals to k, replace k by 0 and we will get the revenue 8x minus x square. But revenue always be equal to price into quantity. So Px equals to 8x minus x square divided by x both sides will get P equals to 8 minus x. This is the required demand function. Last example. Find the demand function where marginal revenue equals to 100 multiplied by e raised to the power minus x by 10 whole multiplied by 1 minus x by 10. We know that revenue equals to integration of marginal revenue. Replace the value of marginal revenue by 100 into e raised to the power minus x by 10 whole multiplied by 1 minus x by 10 respect to x. Now take 100 common and 1 minus x by 10 as a first function and e raised to the power minus x by 10 as a second function and now we will integrate by parts. First function as it is, integration second, e raised to the power minus x by 10 upon minus 1 by 10 minus derivative first is minus 1 by 10 and the integration second is e raised to the power minus x by 10 upon minus 1 by 10 and the integration of the later part. When we simplify, we will get 100 multiplied by 10 minus x whole divided by minus 1 into e to the power minus x by 10 minus e to the power minus x by 10 upon minus 1 by 10. And when we take e to the power minus x by 10 common, we will get 100 multiplied by x minus 10 plus 10. And after solving, we will get the revenue 100 multiplied by x into e to the power minus x by 10 plus c. At x equals 0, the revenue equals 0. So 0 equals to c. Put c in first. Revenue equals to 100 into x into e raised to the power minus x by 10. But revenue equals to price into quantity. So px equals to 100 into x into e raised to the power minus x by 10. Divided by x both sides. So price equals to 100 into e raised to the power minus x by 10. Which is the required demand function. In this question, we use by parts. Here this part is algebraic and this part is exponential. So here we use first function as it is integration second minus derivative of first and integration second and after that integration of the later part.